All right, today I have a uh, CRT, uh, just the tube, and uh, I don't know if you can tell right now, but that is actually filled with water. But everybody's seen CRT filaments being popped. Either they've done it themselves or they've seen it on YouTube. And I think I've seen a video of where a guy does it underwater. Um, he doesn't show how many volts it takes or any or how much current that it's pulling. He just pops it. Shows has a camera facing on the uh, filament. So, as we all know, they take quite a bit of over voltage. Um, I think they usually take around six volts, but I think I've gotten them up to around thirty. So today I'm gonna uh, pop the filament on this one underwater while watching the amount of voltage. Since we know it, they can take a lot of over voltage uh, when there's a vacuum in here. I want to see how much they'll take when there's water in here, meaning that the filament might not burn up as fast because there's water absorbing the heat. So I'll hook this one up. I have to unbury my variac. It's been sitting here for probably about a month straight. Nice layer of dust down there. So I gotta unbury all this and uh, get it set up and we'll test it out. It's boiling the water. It's just regular uh, safety tap water that's in there. And it's already uh, conducting enough to boil at 145 volts. Hmm. That wasn't very exciting pretty warm. Let's stick it on some other terminals. And boils on that one too. Boiling water with an electron gun. That's a new one. I don't think I've seen that on YouTube yet. Makes a nice hum sound. I don't think it can produce any X rays anymore because uh, not only is there not enough high enough voltage, but there's also no more vacuum. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. Right now the level's gone down, current's dropped. Fill it back up again and do it once more.
even when it's down there, it is conducting. Make a little bit of bubbles up here. Not very much. Should put salt water in it. There's a little orange ring of stuff around there. Let's try that again. So that's it. I wasn't watching, what was it doing? Saw some sparks. This is just straight straight in the water. It's down there a couple inches. I wonder if it would be any different if you put an you know, DC instead of AC. I don't think there would be much of a difference unless there was an arc created. It's uh, 145 volts DC. I'm going to fill it up first and I'm going to see what it, if it does anything. So that's DC. I don't hear as much of a hum as I did with AC. It was actually the water and the electron gun that was humming before. And with DC, it's not doing that. Well, it's not that much more interesting. It's a little different. Alright, so that's it.
That's all that's to it. There's a bunch of uh, weird stuff caked all over the side. I'm not sure what that is. And it ran down on the table. Yeah, it looks kind of nasty in there.